There will be several important and significant differences at this mass that only occurs once a year in each diocese throughout the world. Firstly, all the concelebrating priests, because they share in the fullness of the priesthood which comes from the bishop of the diocese, will renew their pledge of obedience to the bishop. This action manifests the unity of the priests of the diocese with their bishop. The other significant feature of this Mass is the blessing and consecrating of oils used in the pastoral and sacramental life of the Church. One of these three oils, the Holy Oil of Chrism, gives the reason why today's Eucharistic celebration is also called the Chrism Mass. At this Mass, the bishop will bless three oils, the oil of catechumens, the oil of the infirm or the sick, and he will be consecrating holy chrism. The feature of oil in both the daily and spiritual life of people is well documented in scripture. Used in cooking in our day, Oil was similarly used by the people in the Bible as well, and not only in cooking, but also as fuel for keeping lamps alight, and as healing salves in medicine and homeopathy. Oil was used to make one's appearance bright and beautiful, as well as to prepare bodies for burial. In the spiritual life, oil was used when offering sacrifices, when consecrating the meeting tent and the Ark of the Covenant, and when symbolizing a choice made by God to lead his people. In the 16th chapter of the book of Samuel, the young David is anointed by Samuel as king over Israel. And when Jesus opens the scroll of the prophet Isaiah in the temple as he begins his public ministry, Jesus echoes the words of the prophet and says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and he has anointed me. Oil, then, is symbolic of bringing one sanctification, wellness, strength, beauty, consecration, and sacrifice. The oil of catechumens is principally used with the sacrament of baptism, which will take place in many churches all over the world at the Easter Vigil Mass. The elect will be anointed with this immediately before baptism. Some of the elect may have been anointed with this oil during the period of the catechumenate, leading up to their baptism in two days' time. The oil of the sick or oil of the infirm is used in the sacrament of the anointing of the sick where the priest administering the sacrament anoints the forehead of the person as well as his hands or other parts of the body which may be accessible to the priest if he is able to. Finally, the prayer over the oil of chrism is preceded by a special gesture of the bishop. This oil is mixed with a perfume and will be used in the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and holy orders. These sacraments impart an indelible sacramental character on those who are anointed with holy chrism. This oil is also used in the dedication ceremony of a church where the bishop anoints the altar together with the walls of the church in 12 places that are marked by crosses. You will be able to notice these crosses easily in the nave of the cathedral walls, and four of them will be visible in the walls of the sanctuary. When the bishop consecrates the holy chrism, he will also breathe over the vessel containing the chrism a gesture which symbolizes the Holy Spirit consecrating the oil, giving it the life-giving nature which the sacraments associated with Holy Chrism bestow on those being anointed with it. 
during the consecration of Holy Chrism, the concelebrating priests will extend their right hands towards the chrism as the bishop prays the consecratory prayer, a sign of their union with their bishop and their sharing in his authority by which Christ himself builds up, sanctifies, and rules his body, the church.